everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name is Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious oat and red lentil pancakes as I just mentioned today I want to show you how to make my delicious oat and red lentil pancakes now this recipe is really easy to do and the reason I make these is simply because I can't have bread so on certain days of the week my husband's son and I will have eggs and the boys will have toast but I can't have the toast so I started making myself things like sweet potato pancakes and one day I thought I'd like to add something different instead of sweet potato so I added red lentils instead and the results were amazing and I was going to make myself another batch today so while I was making them, I thought I'd share this recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious oat and red lentil pancakes. So in this bowl here, I have about 100 grams of red lentils that I'm going to pour into my neutral bullet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these into a flour. And then I have 100 grams of oats that I'm going to pour into my neutral bullet as well. So these are just going to go in. And this makes the basis of the pancakes. And I also like to add ground flaxseed to mine as well. So this is a ground flaxseed and uh, pumpkin seed mix that I just blended in my Nutribullet. But you can buy similar things in the supermarket if you want to. Um, the ones in the UK do a lot of different ranges of flaxseed now. So that's always good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder to that as well. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt as well. So probably about a quarter teaspoon, I'd say. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tablespoons of tahini as well. And the tahini makes is like the egg consistency of these pancakes so these pancakes are vegan um, I'm not a vegan but I just enjoy making vegan food um, obviously I'm not a vegan because I have these with eggs so yeah but I just like making vegan food and these are really yummy as well to have with a little bit of jam or honey too once you've made them and then I'm going to add about 400 ml of milk to that as well so I'm just going to pour the milk in now as well. And I'm going to put the lid on my Nutribullet cup. And I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together now until they're nice and smooth. And that is smooth like a pancake mix. So I'm going to put a lid on this and I'm going to leave this in the fridge overnight now. So my pancake mix has been in the fridge overnight um, and as you can see it's quite thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some milk to this just to make it a bit more of, it? of a pancake consistency. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec because I need it to soak in that's all. So. Yeah, I just want it to be a bit more of a pancake mixture consi consistency. So I always add a bit more milk in the morning. Do you want to try and stir that for me? Oh my god. Okay. Looks like, looks like gone wrong porridge. My son has decided to join us for this video, for this part of this video. So, uh, do do? so the pancake mix is done now and I'm going to get a pan from my cupboard and then I'm going to put it on a high heat so I won't be a moment. What cupboard? Right, so my pancake mix is now done. It's looking much more like a pancake mix than it was earlier. So what I'm going to do is I've got my frying pan and I'm going to put this onto a high heat. I'm just going to let this heat up and I'm going to add a lot of oil to the base of the pan because I find that if I add a lot of oil, the pancakes cook a little better. So I'm just going to spread this round. I'm not going to use my plastic brush or anything like that to spread it. And then I'm just going to leave this pan to heat up now. So my pan is getting nice and hot now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ice cream scoop full of pancake mix to the base of the pan like so and you 
will need to tap it off the ice cream scoop as well and I'm just going to spread that around and I'm going to leave that to cook now and once it's cooked around the outside I shall flip it over but I'll show you that in a moment so this has cooked beautifully on the bottom side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over now and I'm going to leave it to cook on the other side and then once it's cooked I'm going to put it onto a cooling rack and I'll cook the rest um, so yeah as I said once it cooks slightly around the outside of the pancake that would probably be a good time to turn it over and as you can see this one's beautiful it's got a really lovely golden brown colour as well so yeah that's done now and I'm just going to cook off the rest I finished making the pancakes and this is them so I've made about 16 and I'm just going to leave these to cool down on the cooling rack um, these will probably last me for quite a few breakfasts but you as I think I mentioned earlier you could have these with a bit of jam in the afternoon as well if you wanted to as like a little afternoon snack or honey either will do um, yes so as I said I'm going to leave these to cool down and then I'm going to take two and I'm going to make my breakfast with these tomorrow and I'll show you my breakfast tomorrow so this is my breakfast this morning this is my oat and red lentil pancakes and what I've done is I've fried some kale with a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder and I've just sliced an avocado and put that on top and then I've got two poached eggs on top of my oat and red lentil pancakes and I'm really looking forward to my breakfast and this is what I have probably every other day of the week. So that's how you make my oat and red lentil pancakes and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. But for now that's it from me, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon, bye!